Hi, my name is Corey, and I will be your Prep Scholar Math instructor today as we learn about a very important topic in arithmetic, fractions. For this lesson, we will first discuss what fractions are, including what their numerators and denominators signify. Then we will discuss reciprocals of fractions, followed by fraction multiplication and division. Then we will review least common multiples, which will help us learn fraction addition and subtraction. Let's begin. I'm sure we've all heard of fractions before, but what are they? Generally speaking, fractions are a way for us to represent a portion of a whole amount. We might even call this a fraction of a whole amount. Let's look at an example. Here we have a circle equally divided into eight pieces. So the entirety of this circle can be represented as one of itself. We can represent two of these eight slices relative to the whole circle as a fraction two-eighths. This signifies that we cut the circle into eight equal pieces, and we have two of those pieces. The top number in the fraction is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. This fraction can be converted to a decimal with our calculator by dividing the numerator by the denominator. For example, the fraction 2 eighths is equivalent to the decimal value 0 0.25. An important concept of a fraction is its reciprocal. To find the reciprocal of a fraction, we flip the numerator and denominator. Let's look at an example. Here we have the fraction 3 eighths. We can find its reciprocal by having the 3 and the 8 change places. Let's do that now. Here we end up with the fraction 8 thirds. Reciprocals also have the property that the product of a fraction and its reciprocal is 1. Next, let's discuss how to multiply fractions. This ends up being the simplest arithmetic operation between fractions. Let's look at it at an example. Here we have 2 thirds multiplied by 5 sevenths. To multiply these two fractions, we multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So 2 thirds multiplied by 5 sevenths is 10 over 21. So to multiply fractions, we just multiply the numerators together and the denominators together separately. Next, let's discuss how to divide fractions. This ends up being very similar to multiplying fractions, so let's look at an example. Here we have 2 thirds divided by 5 sevenths. To divide these two fractions, we need to first invert the fraction in the denominator. So here, the 5 sevenths is inverted to become 7 fifths. Now we can just multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators together to get 14 over 15. So for fraction division, it's just like fraction multiplication, except that we first invert the denominator. Before we discuss fraction addition and subtraction, we need to review a slightly different concept known as the least common multiple. The least common multiple is the smallest positive multiple of other numbers. Let's look at an example. Let's start by finding the least common multiple of the numbers 6, 8, and 12. We'll start by writing out the multiples of each number until we find the least number that is common between the multiples of these numbers. As we write out the multiples of these three numbers, the first multiple that they share in common is 24. So here we can see that the least common multiple of 6, 8, and 12 is 24. Let's keep this in mind as we get ready to learn fraction addition and subtraction. Now that we understand how to find the least common multiple of a group of numbers, we can tackle fraction addition and subtraction. The steps that we'll take will be to find the least common multiple, multiply the numerator and denominator of each fraction 
by a number to convert the denominator to the least common multiple, then add and or subtract the numerators, keeping the denominator the same. Let's look at an example. So here we have 1 sixth plus 3 eighths minus 5 twelfths. We just found on the previous slide that the least common multiple of the three denominators is 24. To convert the fractions to have denominators of 24, we need to find a number for each fraction's numerator and denominator to multiply by. Since 24 divided by 6 is 4, we can multiply the 1 sixth by 4 over 4 to get its denominator to also be 24. And since 24 divided by 8 is 3, then we can multiply the 3 eighths by 3 over 3 so that the denominator is 24. Finally, we can multiply the 5 over 12 by 2 over 2 to convert its denominator to 24. So now we can just add and subtract the numerators that we have. So we will have 4 plus 9 minus 10. This is equal to 3. So the final unsimplified result is 3 over 24. And since this numerator and denominator are both divisible by 3, we can simplify the final answer to 1 eighth. Let's do a recap of our fractions lesson. First, we learned that fractions have numerators and denominators to represent the ratio between the parts and the whole. We also learned how to find reciprocals by switching the numerator and denominator of a fraction. We also learned to multiply fractions by multiplying their numerators and denominators separately. We also learned how to convert fraction division into fraction multiplication by inverting the denominator and then proceeding to multiply the numerators and denominators. And we also learned how to find the least common multiple of a group of numbers. And this was useful for when we finally learned how to use least common multiples to perform fraction addition and subtraction. Feel free to review this lesson again anytime, and Prep Scholar is rooting for you to succeed on test day.